Hi Leo, welcome to your general reading for May. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. Welcome and thank you. So Leo, this is a general reading. So we're going to take the energies as they come. Whatever comes out, comes out. It could be love. It could be general, work, career, finance. Whatever the messages are most needed at this time for the collective will be the messages we will get. So it may or may not resonate with everybody. So please keep that in mind. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, male or female. General collective reading, not a private reading. So let's see what we get here for Leo. So Leo, the first thing I'm going to do here uh, with this deck, this is a Zodiac Oracle. So we could get a sign, element, or planet. So whatever comes out here, we'll see if this resonates with you. If it doesn't, totally fine. Sort of like a uh, little extra bonus. So we get a sign. Don't get too uh, caught up with the sign. But let's see uh, what we have for you, Leo. General collective reading for May, male or female, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter. Messages and energies most needed, what they do need to know at this time for Leo. Please, Spirit, thank you so much. What do we have for Leo? What do we have for Leo? Thank you so much. Okay. Let's see what we have for you, Leo. We have water. And water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, doesn't have to be, but water is all about emotions and feelings. It's a, a very flowing, kind of go with the flow kind of energy. Also, it's very healing. Water is very healing. And 24 there is six. And six is all about healing and balance. So there's something maybe that needs healing. There could be an emotional time coming up, or it could be an energy of maybe needing to go with the flow, or it could be all three. Or you could be dealing with the cancer sign, uh, the cancer sign. <laughs> Some of you could be dealing with cancer. I don't know why I said that, but water sign, uh, cancer, Scorpio, Pisces in some way, shape or form. Could be anybody. If not, like I said, totally fine. So with this deck here, all the decks are listed below. If you're wondering what decks I'm using, as well as a ton of other information. Uh, so please feel free to check that out. And if you're new to my channel and you like my energy, how I read, Feel free to check it out, like what you see, subscribe, share, all that great stuff. Hit the bell, don't miss out. Um, you get about four or five readings a month. Right now I'm doing bonus readings for every sign every month. I may change that to the top, maybe three or four more uh, watched readings, not sure. Uh, but so far you get about five readings. So that may change to four or five, depending on the bonuses, but... And if you do subscribe, thank you so much. All right, so with this deck here, Leo, I'm going to pull an opening message for you. And then we'll pull another one to see what's going on with your energy. And then we'll clarify all that energy with the tarot. We'll clarify the energy. We'll look at the situation, whatever comes out here, advice and guidance for the situation, possible outcome of the situation. And then I always go over the bottom of the decks. And also with this deck here, we'll get some extra oracle messages at the end for your situation, whatever it may be. So for the Leo Collective at this time, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, male or female, what is the most needed message at this time? What do they need to know? For the Collective Spirit, please, thank you so much for Leo. I'm gonna take this one. And we have Raven here, which is 31. And if you add 31 together, that's four, which is about stability. This is air. And it looks like he's carrying a message. And I kind of see like two worlds there. I see night and I see I see the night sky with the moon and I see the sun sky, you know, the day sky with the sun. But this bird is wearing a mask. So you may be receiving a message from someone finally revealing a truth. This could be about balance because we have sort of almost reminds me of yin and yang with the masculine feminine energy um with the nighttime and the daytime i'm just going to look in the book just because these cards are a little bit different and i don't use them uh that often um not really enough so i just want to um see what this has to say raven using darkness to empower yourself watchfulness trickster behavior okay and i did see like the mask there so someone could be watching you you could have a trickster around you and someone could be using darkness to empower themselves or it could be your energy um 
Leo. I don't know, but let's see what's going on. You have a trickster around you, someone who's being deceitful, especially with the mask there and with the two different energies, like maybe they're perceiving them, you know, showing themselves as one way, but they're really, you know, hiding something. Hmm, okay. So let's see. And how the water plays in? I don't know. We'll see. So let's see what is... So maybe that's just an opening message to be careful of someone around you. May not be who they seem to be. Uh, they may have some negative energy or using their energy in a negative way towards you. Um, so just be mindful of that. Or they may be, you know, with the mask, they'll be telling you lies or not the whole truth. Because the moon energy there can be about secrets. But I see the sun kind of like peeking over the top. So something may come to light. All right. So, and maybe this will cause an emotional time here with the water energy. So let's see. What is the opening energy for Leo? What else do we need to know for the Leo General Collective? Male and female, someone rising Venus or Jupiter. For Leo, what is their energy like right now? Or Leo, feeling that one. So we have the crab. So now we have uh, water energy. And we have 18, which is nine. And nines are about coming to an ending or a completion. So we do have the crab here. So I just want to look to see what that has to say. So that is number 18. Feeling vulnerable, seeking hidden value, caution, and directness. Wow. So you may feel vulnerable with somebody who may not be, I'm getting like an overbearing, overpowering kind of energy. Somebody who may be domineering, uh, condescending, maybe someone that you like don't trust, you feel insecure around. Um, but I think, you feel cautious around them too and they may indirectly do things but you kind of know that they're you know it's directed towards you also and it may be like it could be a boss it could be anybody uh and it's like it says seeking hidden value so maybe you're constantly seeking um your value through them like you want to be seen as valuable th through their eyes but uh, it could be someone you're emotionally attached to in some way, shape, or form. I mean, it could be a parent, it could be a co-worker, it could be a friend, a family member, a distant relative. I don't know, somebody here. All right, let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. We have water again. Oh my God, I can't make this up. So, and we have 12 here, which is three. So it could be somebody you work with or someone around your social scene or something like that. Wow. So, yeah. So let's see what's going on here. Let's see what's going Water twice. So something could be very emotional here. And the crab is water. So that's three water. So you definitely could have a Cancer Scorpio or Pisces around you in some way, shape, or form. I mean, this could be a partner. This could be a parent. This could be somebody I feel around you. I mean, they could have addictions, obsessions. They could be, they could have a mental illness. They could um, just, you know, not be a nice person. And maybe, you know, you've always sought to have value in their eyes. And it's been like a constant struggle here. I don't know. Let's see. But you feel, I feel cautious and vulnerable around them also in some way for some of you. This, again, this may not resonate with everybody. So let's see what this energy is all about. Whoever this is, what two water twice, it's someone you either feel very, very deeply for in some way, shape, or form, or an emotion, a very emotional time maybe coming up. All right, so let's see what is this energy about for Leo. Thought I had a flipper. No, nope. can we clarify, spirit, please? This energy. Or Leo okay so judgment so and that's Scorpio energy so this can be about forgiveness maybe you're constantly forgiving a person for their conduct 
and it's talked about talks about soulmate energy but a soulmate can be anybody it can be a family member a friend um anybody it doesn't necessarily have to be a lover but this is like resurrection of soulmate energy and it's forgiveness but it's making needing to make a final judgment call i feel like on something that's very emotional all right so let's get a few more let's clarify this and yeah wow somebody who hurts you deeply yeah who stabs you in your heart over and over and over but i feel like you keep forgiving this person somehow you have an emotional tie a deep emotional tie to this person it could be love it could be it could you know it could be love and love can come in any shape or form it could be a lover it can be a family member a friend but somebody who hurts you over and over and i feel like you keep forgiving this person why why they, they're not in a good energy why do you keep forgiving them oh my goodness <laughs> oh okay we had four fall on the floor wow so we have <laughs> the tower yeah wow the tower the queen of swords the devil there's that toxic energy there's that bad behavior toxic energy and the page of wands so i feel like i feel like this is you i mean this can be you know the page of wands can be all oh, about good news and exciting things um i feel like that actually should be the page of cups but um i feel like you're at the tower i mean it could be fights it could be arguments um break up shake up you know th that's that energy disruptive energy but i think you know the queen of swords is always divine energy to me divine enlightenment divine source you know needing to shed truth and clarity on a situation it's like spirit wants you to see the toxic energy of this person and i think this is the news with the page of wands that spirit really wants you to know but i also feel like the page of wands that's you probably you know maybe you have if it's a lover you have a lot of passion for this person you know and you're constantly apologizing or you're going to them you know to uh, rectify the situation or you know whatever have you here but the queen of swords here can be libra or can be any air sign gemini libra aquarius i think it's time for you to clearly see exactly the repetitive cycle that this is in because water you know it, it, it's fluid and it goes with the flow but if you think about water it kind of recycles you know itself over and over you know so i don't know let's see let's wow it's way too many let's okay let's take these take like take a look at your actual situation so very defensive on guard energy i feel like you could be always on guard around this person that's that cautious energy uh with the uh crab yeah they make you they hurt you a lot here <laughs> they hurt you a lot like constantly knocking your cups over turning their back on you but it's like when you turn your back on them you, you kind of always have to look over your shoulder too like okay what's going to happen next i hope this isn't an, an abusive situation because if it is i'm sorry and if it is i think you need to leave the situation and i think someone's been waiting and waiting and waiting just kind of going over this scenario these energies this you know uh behavior like over and over and over but like waiting or maybe it'll change maybe it'll get better but yet the same cycles keep going over and over and over wow uh, you know and they may you know appear to be balanced you know they may you may say okay you know we've worked it out everything seems balanced now it's kind of the energy i'm getting but yet we got the mask over there on the raven so it's like pretending to be everything's okay and balanced but then it starts over again wow so the three of swords here is deep uh, emotional hurt and pain so so far we have scorpio aries capricorn uh libra okay so let's get one more one so yeah so it could be somebody you're married to or somebody you're living with that doesn't necessarily have to be um a lover or a partner it could be like a family 
home and it could be a mother, a father, it could be a sister, a brother, it could be anybody here, aunt, uncle, or a lover, but someone definitely you live with in your home or around your home with the four of wands energy. All right, so let's get a couple more on this situation before I look at advice or guidance, please, for Leo, to a cup. So, so some of you, it is a soulmate, a partner, a lover. All right, what else? Queen of Pentacles. So this is knowing your value and worth. That is like the minor of the Empress. So this could be Capricorn again. So we got Capricorn twice. Yeah, here's the fighting, the arguing, the bickering. And like foolish things, foolish things said, done. You know, and if I feel like, you know, restart, constantly restarting this back to zero, we're starting over, oh, we're starting over, we're starting over. And then it goes back to this, <laughs> I feel. Fighting, arguing, bickering. What else? Yeah, so we have the Hierophant here. So this definitely could be a marriage for some. So we do have the Nine of Cups, and usually that talks about, um, you know, wish fulfillment, happiness, joy, but it also can talk about overindulgence. So somebody may be drinking here. That could be the negative energy. And maybe this energy happens when this person overindulges if they can straighten out that energy whatever they're doing whatever toxic behavior they have if they can heal that as with the water energy it could be about massive healing there could be a chance to save this but if they're not willing to change and take that mask off and heal then i think this is just going to be the same repetitive cycle over and over and over and over and if they're not willing to change then Someone here needs to make a tough decision on what to do about this. So let's see what the advice, guidance is for you. I feel like you truly love this person, whoever they may be. You feel like they're a soulmate, you know, and at one time they felt like, you know, your wish, your dream come true. But I don't know what happened here. Yeah, Ace of Cups reversed. Yikes. And the Ten of Swords reverse. So for some of you, there may not even be any more love in this situation. Because uh, the Ace of Cups reversed, you know, is about a brand new beginning in love. But it can be about, you know, <laughs> this cup emptying out. But yet refusing to end something here with the Ten of Swords in reverse. Refusing to let something end maybe where there's no more love in a situation. The world, yeah, this is about closing cycles, letting, you know, cycle close out that needs to close out. Because there's something better with the Ace of Wands. You know, this Ace of Cups in reverse, again, could be, you know, refusing to heal. Because the Ace of Cups upright can be about, you know, massive healing, you know, hope, faith, spirituality, spiritual awakening, love, peace, harmony, joy. There's none of that energy here. And someone's refusing to either change their ways or refusing to let, you know, to let this come to an end because of this Ace of Cups in reverse. So we either need to put this Ace of Cups upright and heal and mend and get on the path to recovery and close that chapter out so we could start new and fresh. Ace of Wands, you know, getting the fire and the passion back in. Or some here will be starting over and fresh somewhere else. That's kind of like the guide, uh, advice and guidance. So whatever suits you. If you feel like, no, there is no more love here. And I don't see how this can be fixed. But yet, we're not ending it. It may be time to close out that chapter. Because there's better things waiting for you with the Ace of Wands. More fire, more passionate. Feeling happy and excited and the zest for life again. Somewhere else. Or this person needs to end something here that they're doing to make the situation better. If they're not willing to do that, then this is going to be a cycle that just keeps repeating and repeating because the world can be about, you know, it's about cycles, but this could be a repeating pattern and cycle. 
So let's see what the outcome could be for you, Leo, in this situation. Well, the chariot, somebody might just get in their car in the middle of the night and drive off <laughs> and not come back. Uh, we have Cancer energy here. We have Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio with the world. We have Taurus over here, Aquarius again. So Chariot, yeah, it's about positive movement forward. It's about drive, ambition, goals, uh, balance victory king of wands so that's you leo fire sign that's you leo you may get in your chariot and finally realize you know what i'm worth more than this you know the queen of pentacles energy i'm worth i have a lot of value and worth i don't need to be on guard and off balance all the time juggling myself around feeling you know Here's the water, all the water at the bottom, feeling, you know, rocky waters all the time, you know, off balance all the time. Like walking on eggshells around this person. There's something better, I feel. Some may be getting in their chariot here and moving on to bigger and better things. All right, so that's the possible outcome. See, we have four pentacles at the bottom, so holding back. Holding back, but some may be getting divorced. I'm not telling anyone to get divorced, but divorce, separation, doing what's moral and just and right for you, seeing the truth and clarity, getting your balance. No more two pentacles, feeling like you're on eggshells and uh, ducking and weaving and, you know, this energy. No more. Holding back your energy, doing what's moral and just and right for you. We got Libra again. Knight of Cups. So this person may try to, you know, sweet talk you, come back in and, you know, saying, oh, I've, I'm healed, I'm better, you know, blah, blah, blah. You know, things will get better. You know, maybe thrown in memories of the past where times were good and, you know, things were great. Saying, but I love you. Having all the love in the world here with the Queen of Cups. Could be cancer now. But they go back to their cutting and dicing and slicing with their King of Swords energy. Their cold words, their cold and cutting behavior. Whatever they were doing, this person doesn't look happy at all. See his face? It's just very, you know, not, you know, someone who may apologize, but all the time. But there's a fish in the cup, so it's not pure and honest. And we have the King of Swords, which is Gemini. So... You're going to keep accepting their apologies. You know, they're going to, you know, keep throwing the past in your face. So you're just going to throw the past away, especially if you have children. You know, coming in saying, you know, I've healed. I've thought about it. I'm sorry, blah, blah, blah. But I think finally, you're finally going to know better and you're going to hold back and do what's moral, just, and right for you, Leo. Wow. Wow, Leo. Oh, some of you, what are you going through? It's time, I think, to... You've been just kind of going with the flow and taking this, thinking, oh, it'll get better. It'll, it'll get better. Um, for some, it may. If this person can clean up their act, if they can't, it's just going to be, um, I think, a repetitive cycle over and over and over. And if you know deep down that they're never going to change, they're never going to change. All right, so let's get some extra oracle messages for you, Leo. Leo, let's get some extra messages for Leo. Extra messages for Leo. Wow. Clean up your mess. Yeah. <laughs> 37 is 10, which is an ending. So if this person can't clean up their act, this is clean up your mess. So this person needs to clean up their act altogether. We got two on the side here. So we have say yes and detox. Wow. I can't make this up. So if this is re uh, relative to your person, we do have eight, 35, which is eight, which is about taking action, control, movement, you know. We have nine, 49 there, just 13, which is four, which is stability. So if this person does say yes to cleaning up their act, this can be saved. It can. It's depending on if they will say yes. Some of you could have a new opportunity in the future, and that's the bigger and better things I see with the Ace of Wands. You could, you know, down the line in the future, I'm not saying like tomorrow, could be years, you could actually have your true soulmate for some of you. 
And did I not say they say they're sorry all the time? Oh my gosh. So 29 is 11, which is two, which is about unity and partnership. So yeah, they may say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And it's just a cycle over and over. So unless they can say yes to detox in their life, whatever that may be in any way, shape or form, cleaning up their act. Um, I don't know if this is going to change or heal. So I think it's up to them and you know better if you know that there's a chance they could then this could work out. If not, then I don't think it's going to change. And, do, and if you want to stay in this repetitive cycle, Leo, that would be up to you. Okay, Leo, uh, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.